uh, output is zero. Okay, assuming that output is zero, and uh, that means your that machine is in the initial state. Okay, so you get uh, once you get a input to that uh, application, so it will go into another state or it will remain in the same state depending on what input that you are applying and what is the current state of that that means what is the current state uh, of that uh, machine okay so if there is a one input uh, then it will go into the next state or otherwise it will if the input is zero it will remain in the same state okay if now as the much it will be in a second state now if the in current state is one then it will go to the next state because here what we are getting we are getting here the sequence that is one okay now here you will get a sequence that is of one one if input is zero then now the sequence will break because here the sequence will be one zero and as the sequence which we want that is a one one zero so that will break here so it will return to the first state only that is the initial state okay now next for the next state now if it is reaching to the state c okay then if the input is zero then it will go to the next state that is a d state or if input is 1 then it will remain in the same state because here the sequence that you are going to get is a 1 1 1 okay so actually we want 1 1 0 so here you will get that sequence and therefore output will become as a 1 okay now here output in, in uh, all earlier states output is equal to 1 but now once you get a predefined sequence output will be equal to 1. But now again, your machine should reach to the initial state only. So now, from this state, if the input is 1, it will go to this state. That is the once you are getting 1, 1, 0. So here you will get now the sequence that is a 1, 1, 0, 1. That means now it will go to the state B. Okay, if input is 1. Or otherwise, it will go to initial state if the input is zero okay so this type of state like model that you will get for this sequence detector for detecting the sequence that is a 110 okay and for this we were discussing about uh, what is the vhdl code for that in the last session so now let us move to that uh, And we will see. Uh, let us open now Xilinx IIC and then we'll see uh, what is the code for that uh, sequence detector and how what output that we are going to get when we are simulating this sequence. Okay, so we'll share now my Xilinx IIC. Present my entire screen, screen so that I can show simultaneously or I can switch in between uh, presentation and uh, the link. Okay. So, I have already done this uh, programming part, so I will just directly open that. 
i have given the name for that uh, program that is a seq that is a project that is seq underscore det underscore mure underscore one one zero okay so i'll open this project okay. from that i'm opening a vhdl file so that is so i have opened it okay now let us go for the implementation and here this is the vhdl code for the sequence detector for 110 okay so here you can see that the first part as usual there is a library declaration part and then next part that is a entity declaration okay so as we have earlier seen that we are going to have two inputs okay. so that is a x and clock for this sequence detector and w that is the output okay so for this we are writing a vhdl code to detect a sequence of 110 okay so here we have a input port that is a clock x that is a input and w that is a output port so these are the three ports two input ports and one output port that we have declared in the entity part of this <laughs> program okay now in the architecture part okay so we are writing architecture for the sequence detector which is the mure model so i have given the name for this architecture as a mure underscore sd for this entity that is a seq underscore det mure okay so here let us start with the architecture so the first uh, after begin actually as i earlier said that we want to execute all the uh, statements sequentially so we are going to write a process so process which will have a sensitivity parameter that is a clock okay because we want changes in the output whenever there is a rising age of the clock so the sensitive parameter in this inputs that is a uh, clock and actually inputs are x and clock okay but we want there should be a change depending on the clock rising age of the clock so we are going to consider this as the sensitive parameter and therefore we have listed this in a uh, sensitivity parameters list of this process so that is the clock okay and after that as we are going to have certain different states okay so for that and that is required for this process only so we are going to initialize a variable state which will be in this process one okay so here before starting actual uh, statements in this process we are going to uh, initialize this variable that is a state which is a vector okay so it is a std underscore logic vector which is one down to zero that means it is a Two bit vector, so it will have four values: zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. Okay, so these four values will be there for this uh, straight variable. Okay. Now, as actually we are going to detect a sequence of one, one, zero, and this is the Moore model. That means we will have four states. So we are going to consider A state as a zero, zero, B state as a zero, one, C as a one, zero, and D as a One one. Okay, so for this, okay, now we are going to actually write a program. Okay, so whatever are the statements in this process that we are going to write here, so we will start uh, the process. So begin a uh, keyword that we are going to use. Okay, now after that, what we want? We want a rising age of the clock, or we want clock signal that should be high. Okay, so we are going to use here a if statement. That is a if clock is equal to one, then we want to execute all the other statements. If clock is equal to zero, so the we are not going to consider or we are not going to change the output. Okay. So whenever there is a clock is equal to one, then we are going to check whether there is a change or not. So if clock is equal to one, then okay. Now what we are going to consider? We are going to consider this state variable. Okay. Now, for this, we are going to have a case statement. So, case 
state is okay so for different values of this state we are going to check what is the input and depending on that what should be output and what should be the uh, or that machine should be in which state that we are going to decide okay so for that what we are going to do we are going to consider a case state okay so case state is now it will have as earlier uh, i have said that it will have four different values okay so it is it may be 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so when it this state is in the is 0 0 that time what we are going to check if x is equal to 0 or if x is equal to 1 x ki value kay hai hi apan check karu manje input kay hai te check karnar hai karan aplo मशीन का फोर स्टेट्स स्टेट्स मध्य इनपुट ज्यादा चेंज होता डिड कर स्टेट मध्य आउटपुट का Okay, I just minimize this and I will show this beside. Okay, so that it will be easier. Okay, is it visible properly? We see both a uh, program and uh, this. Presentation simultaneously on your screen. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now here, what we have? We have clock is equal to one. As I said, for that we are going to check for the state of for the state. If it is a, in a zero zero state, then. X, if x is equal to zero, it will remain in the same state. Here you can see it will remain in the same state. Okay, and then at that time w that is the output that is equal to zero. So here it, we have assigned state will be equal to zero and w that will be equal to zero. Now as this is a variable state that we are considering as a variable, not a signal. and that is why the assignment operator that we are using for this is a colon equal to okay if it would have we have selected it as a signal then it will be less than equal to operator that could be used but now here we are going to use the operator that is a colon equal to to assign this value to this variable okay जेव्हा जेव्हा आपण व्हेरिएबल कन्सिडर करतो तेव्हा असाइनमेंट कुठल्या ऑपरेटरने करणार आहे कोलन इक्वल टू जर तो सिग्नल असेल तर त्याला काय करणार आहे लेस दॅन इक्वल टू करणार आहे म्हणूनच आता इथे आपण कोलन इक्वल टू वापरतो आणि मग त्याच्यानंतर काय करणार आहे इथे सो okay so it will remain in a 0 0 when it is going to remain in a 0 0 when x is equal to 0 but if x is not equal to 0 that means x is equal to 1 in that case it is going to be in a another state that is in state b that is a 0 1 state okay so now here we are going to have a statement that is if it is not equal to 0 that means if this condition is false state will be 0 1 and w will be again equal to 0 okay then we are going to end this if statement okay and now we are going to check for the another condition okay or another value for this state so that is a 0 1 so we are going to consider this second state now now whenever machine is in this state that is a 0 1 state or this is nothing but b state so that where time if x is equal to 1 we are going in the next state that is a 10 state and then w 
will be again equal to zero. Otherwise, it is going to be in a initial state. That means in a A state. Okay. So here, ah, uh, we are going to have now assign zero zero to state. Okay. So that means we will be this machine will be in a initial state. Okay. Now after that, W will be again equal to zero. End of that if statement, and then now we are going to consider this third state. That is a C. That is a one zero state. Okay. Now again, if x is equal to zero, then machine is going to remain in the same state. That means it will remain in the same state. So state will be one zero, and W will be again equal to zero. But if the condition is not true, that means if x is equal to zero, in that case it is going to be in a next state. That is a Bth state, or it is a one-one state. And now, as all the <coughs> uh, sequence that we have got, that means whatever sequence that we have defined earlier, that we are receiving. So uh, now output will be equal to one. So now we are going to assign value one to this output that is equal to one. End of this if statement. Now for all other values, uh, or here we are going to assign x is equal to zero. If x is equal to zero, then state will be zero zero. And if x is equal to uh, one, then it will be in a B state. That is a zero one state. And end of this if statement, end of case, end of again if statement, outer if statement, end of the process. And end of the architecture. Okay, so this is the code for this <coughs> sequence detector. Okay, now here what we have considered now is this is the last state actually. So that is nothing but that means whenever if uh, this state will have values other than zero 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 one and one zero, that means it will have one one value. That time it will reach to the Uh, first state, initial state, whenever x is equal to zero. If x is equal to one, it will go to the B state. Okay, so that we have uh, assigned with this when others clause. Okay, so this is the VH DL code for this uh, Murray machine sequence detector, which is for one one zero. Okay, now let us have a Test bench for this. Okay, so I have already assigned some values uh, there. So this is the state test bench. Okay, now procedure to write test bench that is similar to the earlier one. Okay, now only difference is that here we are using a clock signal. Okay, so it whenever we are uh, writing a test bench that time automatically when you are associating that uh, test bench with your entity. So that will you will get a skeleton for the uh, your test bench. Okay, you just have to write the values there depending on uh, which you will get the output. Okay, so here you will get uh, this our library declaration, then entity declaration, and in a architecture for this test bench. Now it will consider the whatever VHDL code you have written for earlier sequence detector. Uh, that will be considered as a uh, component okay so you will have here um, component declaration part and after that here uh, clock signal that as initial value that we are assigning it as a zero then input x that also again we are assigning it value to the zero so all these we are going to consider as a signals okay this is also signal output signal w That is a std underscore logic. Now we have not assigned here any initial value for this w. Okay, so let us see what is the effect of this uh, afterwards. Okay, now here we are going to consider clock period. Okay, so which is going to be constant. So we have declared it as a constant clock period, which is a time uh, that is equal to ten nanosecond. Okay, so that means it will have a ten nanosecond. Clock period, okay, and then 
we are going for a uh, this uh, next part okay so here this is the uh, port mapping for this component and the actual unit under test so that is there then after that we have a clock process okay actually what we want we want on time and off time for the that clock excuse me ma'am yes तो लास्ट सेशन आहे मैं ग्रुप ला मेसेज करला यस यस यू हैव वन सेशन एट टू सो जस्ट आई विल फिनिश दिस पार्ट इन 5 मिनट्स एंड देन यू कैन जॉइन दैट सेशन ओके ओके तो जस्ट 5 मिनट्स सो दिस इज अ क्लॉक ओके एंड देन दैट वी हैव डन सो वी हैव डिसाइडेड जीरो लॉजिक लेवल एंड वन लॉजिक लेवल फॉर दिस क्लॉक एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव जस्ट असाइंड वैल्यूज फॉर एक्स ओके आणि आता आपले क्लॉक तर डिसाइड केला आपल्याला फक्त इनपुट चेंज करायचे तर मी इथे इनपुट साठीचे काही व्हॅल्यूज चेंज केलेत आणि त्याच्याप्रमाणे आता आपण बघणार आहे की मला आउटपुट काय मिळणार आहे ओके तुम्ही काय केलंय पहिल्या पंधरा मिनिटासाठी तर मी इनिशियल रिसेट कंडिशन पहिल्या पंधरा नॅनो सेकंडसाठी इनिशियल कंडिशन असाईन केली आहे त्याच्यानंतर एक्स इक्वल टू वन फॉर टेन नॅनो सेकंड एक्स इक्वल टू झिरो फॉर फिफ्टीन नॅनो सेकंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन फॉर नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन झिरो फॉर टेन अँड सो ऑन ओके so that i have decided and then we are waiting for clock period of 10 okay so that uh, we are have okay so now let us simulate this but before that i will just check a uh, behavioral check syntax okay so it is uh, okay so let us go for so here you can find that whenever here do one sequence is there but after that there is a zero so you are not getting a uh, high signal at the output but now here when for this clock signal here it is a one for this clock cycle input is one and for this it is a zero so you have achieved a proper sequence there and so at this instant at this rising age of the clock output signal goes high okay so this is the Uh, sequence detector uh, using murray model but now here you can see that this orange part okay everybody could say uh, can see this orange part okay if i click on this it will show that w value is u okay that means it is a unknown value or it is an initialized okay now what is uh, why we are getting this that we will discuss in the next session now you can leave this session and you can join to the link that is shared with your cc so just share the just join there okay you can leave this session now